Well, welcome. We are here with Candace Gregory. She is the president and CEO of the Open Door Mission. Welcome, Candace. Okay, thank you for having me. I'm so glad to be with you today. You're welcome. Hey, tell us, okay, let's first talk about the Open Door Mission. What's your, what is your mission and who do you serve? Well, Open Door Mission is a gospel rescue mission, and we meet the basic needs of individuals and families, inspire hope for lasting change. So every day we offer 917 safe shelter beds. We serve a little over 4,700 meals to those that are hungry in our community, and we provide about a thousand people with preventive measures that actually empower them to be in their own homes and prevent them from being homeless. Now, COVID has uh, definitely had an impact on the 40 programs we offer for free, but Andy, we're just getting creative and doing it differently well you do so many for so many all so so much for so many all year round but I really want to talk about the holidays how can people contribute to your organization over the holidays well, we are anticipating more than 6,400 children for our Project Santa program. And in the past, we have allowed parents to actually come through our Toy and Joy Shop, Andy, and they choose anywhere from um, you know eight to 10 items that would be appropriate for their child to celebrate during Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever their celebration is during this holiday season. But unfortunately, due to social distancing, I'm not gonna be able to run the program that way. And so it is going to be drive-through, which means okay. Going to need a lot of different type of items this year, like stuffed animals, um, things that you could use all the time indoors, like bubbles, and then of course the standby coloring books and crayons. You can visit our website, and we have actually a complete list of toy items that we're looking for for Project Santa. And do you need? Um, you've got the items you need. Uh, what about adults? Well, we actually do Christmas bells for them, and we have a complete list, um, and even an Amazon wish list, list, because we know that people are looking for convenience this year, and so we have a list on our website at opendoormission.org, and it is generic things, Andy, things like an alarm clock, a watch, a curling iron, a blow dryer, um, because many times, uh, many of our adults that are experiencing homelessness are trying to get back into the workforce, and so we're looking for some things that will help them and equip them to do that. And what about volunteers? Are you looking for, what, can people volunteer? Oh, Andy, I'm so glad you brought volunteers up. Can you hear me? Um, <laughs> we miss our volunteers. You know, uh, COVID has definitely taken a toll. Yeah. And so we know that many people have to volunteer in place. We have that on our website at opendoormission.org under our volunteer button. For all of you that don't have underlying health issues, that can social distance, can wear a mask, we encourage you to join us because we are desperate for volunteers for serving our meals all the way to the front line where we're passing out the turkeys. So um, there's something for everyone to make a difference this holiday season, Andy. Yeah. Well, we have about a minute left. So this went by quickly, you know, trying to keep these interviews to five minutes. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you can use uh, money. Um, what about, okay, so we're talking about anything for Thanksgiving that people can do? You know, we actually are right in the midst of turkey and fixins, and we started uh, actually the first day in November, and people are lined up at seven in the morning for a program that doesn't even open till 11. So that shows you the desperation and the food insecurity issue in our community. And so we are giving away a turkey or ham, so a choice of the families, as well as the fixins along with their food pantry. And so we are in need of people who will be a personal shopper to help that family with the choices off the shelf that goes in their carts, as well as registration. It's a sit down job where you can just put the information into the software. Um, or if you'd like to behind the scenes, you can take that winter coat and keep hanging them up all day long. And so, because it doesn't help a mom if it's in a box, Andy. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, so many ways for people to contribute back to the Open Door Mission um, over the holiday season, um, over the next six weeks or five weeks, eight weeks. I'm not even sure how long. It all runs together now. It all runs together. So encourage people to go to website again is? Opendoormission.org. You can click on the give now if you'd like to make a donation. 90 cents of every donation of every donation goes directly to guest services. So we're all about stewardship. Um, you can visit our volunteer section or you might want to search our volunteer in place section for drives that are going on. 
All right, Candace, thank you so much for joining me and wishing you, wishing you a, you know, just a God blessed holiday season. So thank, thank you. Thank you. Happy holidays. Bye. Bye bye.